great to see you. My name is Miss Yolanda and I am so glad you are here right now. Today we're talking about creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you are made in God's image. God made us to be like him and his creativity is indescribable. He gave us the ability to be creative too. We can use our creativity to share his love and help others every single day. So let's get on our feet and praise God for loving us and making us to be so creative. Six books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Mark, chapter 2. Verses 1 through 12. Jesus began teaching and healing in Galilee. He had become so popular that a whole mob of people would show up whenever he entered a town. Oh, my tummy hurts. My donkey has bad breath. Tell me how to get rich quick in my spare time working from home. For a time, Jesus stayed out of the towns in lonely places, but even then people came to him. So he returned to the town of Capernaum and word of his arrival spread like wildfire. Stop what you're doing, Jesus is back. Yep, everybody heard the news. Even a man we'll call, um, Bo. He's here in Capernaum. But Bo couldn't just hop up and see Jesus. In fact, he lay on a mat every single day, unable to walk a single step. So his four friends will all huddle together. You think Jesus could help him? Well, sure. How do we get him up there? We've got arms, we've got legs, we'll carry him. 
So the four friends each took a hold of a corner of the mat and carried Bo directly through town to the home where Jesus was staying. By the time they arrived at the house, they saw everyone in town crowded inside and jammed around the windows and doors outside. Bo could see nothing but a tangle of legs. Guys? There's no way to get inside. I know. Bo can crowd surf into Jesus. That's uh, one idea. Or, or, or I could tie a couple of foxes together, set their tails on fire, and, and let them loose to make a pathway inside. That's also an idea. We could try the roof. Bo? The roof? We're not turning back now. So together, the four friends carried Bo on his mat up the narrow stairs that led to the roof. They could hear Jesus' voice below filtering through the clay roof tiles. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds. But when you plant the seed, it becomes the largest of all. Guys, how does coming up here help? We're closer to Jesus. He's right beneath us. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's time to raise the roof. Working together, the four friends shifted the heavy tiles until they made a hole in the roof. Below, they could see Jesus. Along with a crowd of confused religious leaders, teachers, and townspeople. The sky is falling! Time to move it. Using ropes, the four friends picked up Bo's mat again and slowly lowered him down through the hole in the roof. And I'm free, free falling, no! Don't worry, we got you, Bo. Everyone below scrambled to get out of the way as Bo's mat came to rest on the floor right in front of Jesus. Um, hi? It seemed as though everyone in the room held their breath as Jesus looked up to see the four friends peering down from the hole in the roof. Jesus could see the deep faith that had led them to bring their friend to him. Then Jesus looked down at Bo and smiled. Son, your sins are forgiven. <gasps> the religious leaders were shocked. Though no one said a word, they were practically screaming inside their heads. What? That's evil. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew exactly what they were thinking. If Jesus could forgive sins, he was claiming to be God. Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say to this man, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take your mat, and walk? Hmm, fat chance of that. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. From above, Fred, Mary, Pip, and Sam all watched in fascination as Jesus turned back to Bo. Get up, take your mat, and go home. Every eye in the room turned from Jesus to Bo. For the tiniest moment, Bo hesitated. Then, he sat up. With growing confidence, he swung his legs around. And then, he scrambled up to his feet. <laughs> up above, his friends cheered. Huzzah! <laughs> oh, you go, Bo! Bo took a step. A hop. A leap! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As the crowd watched in amazement, Bo picked up his mat and danced right out of that house. People moved aside faster than if Bo had been a, a fox with its tail on fire. I've never seen anything like it. Well, bless his heart and praise the Lord. Bo had been healed by the power of God and because his friends had worked together to help bring him to Jesus. The four men in the story worked together to get their friend to Jesus. They didn't let anything stop them because they knew Jesus would help. We can work together just like they did. God can do big things through us when we join with others and use our creativity. You see, God created you to work with others. Let's pray and ask him to help us do that. Dear God, it's so cool to see how the four friends helped the man who couldn't walk. 
They knew how important it was to get him to help Jesus. Help us be good friends who treat others the way we want to be treated. Help us work together and use our creativity to make a difference for other people. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye kids. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. Mwah! A few more things that we want you to know about. Do you have a prayer request? We are praying for our Twin Lakes Kids families. If there are any specific prayer requests you have, head to tlc.org slash kids to send us yours. Every Friday on Facebook and Instagram is Funny Friday. That means we need your best jokes. Head to our website to submit your funniest jokes to have them featured on Funny Friday. We have something new for you every day at Twin Lakes Kids on Instagram and Facebook. We have daily devos, worship song of the day, and then something fun and themed every other day of the week. Don't miss out, so follow us on Facebook and Instagram.